Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. So first of all, just excuse my hair. Like, I have my hair in plaits and I've just pinned it up with this band. Um, I've just done some makeup. Um, but I, have, I don't wear makeup every day at the moment, moment like you saw in the first vlog. But I thought I would do some makeup because I want to film a video. And, um... Yeah, actually the, the video that I'm going to film today will already be up by the time you'll see in this. So that is my glossy box um, video, so I will link it up. Um, I always forget what side it is, I think it's this side. I always get confused because when I'm doing it this way on the camera it's like flipped. I think it's this side. Um, so yeah, my glossy box video will be up already, so definitely go give that a watch. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and don't forget to turn on your notification bells if you're not already. And yeah. <laughs> So, I'm going to start the weekly vlog by talking to you quickly about this um, kit. So, it is like an, a, a mag it's a magnetic eyeliner eyelash, it's called an eyelash suit, magnetic eyeliner eyelash suit. So basically, um, I keep saying basically, I went on to, I was on Instagram the other day flicking through my stories and you know the ads come up and the ad come up saying, um, magnetic eyeliner and it was for this brand i don't remember what the brand was called but i looked on it and i was like that's so cool but it was about thir it was 35 pounds for the set of eyelashes and the eyelash um the eyeliner that so the eyeliner is magnetic and then the eyelashes they like stick together um and i thought 35 pound for a pair of eyelashes and some eyeliner is quite a lot especially if it didn't work or if I didn't like it that's a lot of money for me to spend I could get a lot more of my money for 35 pounds I thought go on eBay have a little look and I found basically I don't I mean this I don't know how well how good this is gonna be because it literally what it was it was I think it was eight pound ninety nine um, but I won't be that that bothered if I've spent eight pound ninety nine and it isn't amazing. If I was if I'd spent thirty five pounds and I didn't like it, then I'd be a bit miffed. But to spend less than ten pounds to try it, I'm gonna give it a go. And I also think this kit I've not actually opened the box yet. It comes yeah, it comes with five different pairs. So these are the lashes you get. They just look like normal fake eyelashes. I bought my fake eyelashes from eBay eBay before because I'm not that fussed about like certain eyelashes that I don't I can get it if some people will spend a lot more money on eyelashes but that's just not really for me um so yeah it comes with the eyelashes and then it comes with a little eyeliner and then it comes also comes with some tweezers um to help you pop them on which is good because I've never really had a pair of tweezers for like doing lashes before so that's really good um and I just wanted to try it out because I thought that would be a perfect thing to do. Even if I'm at home with no makeup on and I want to whack like, a tiny bit of eyeliner on and then pop a pair of eyelashes on because I used to have extensions just to feel a bit more awake and feel a bit more, um, like, a bit more presentable and just look nicer when you look in the mirror. Um, so, yeah, let's have a look at the eyeliner. Just looks like a, a normal black eyeliner. I will say the... The nib, it's not that thick, but it's not as like thin as some eyeliners, if you see. It's not it's not thick though, it could be thicker. But yeah, I'm gonna go and pop the eyeliner on. I might speed this bit up because that, you know, takes a while. And I normally do wings, so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do a wing or not. Um I might give it a go and then I'm gonna have a go at putting the eyelashes on. So I'm really excited to see if this actually works. If this works, this is cleanest for less than ten pounds, so I'm worried yeah. I've left it too long and it might dry. Let's give it a go. Bend the eyelash, um, just so it fits your your natural eye, and then it just says to um, take the end of the tip of the, um, with the tweezers or fingers and put it above your real eyelashes. Then make the magnet band slowly close to and connect your eyeliner. What? Okay, I think I've left it too long. Oh, this is supposed to be a lot easier than this. Okay, so I've got it on. I don't know if it's completely stuck. It is down, but the little bit in the, the inner corner is not sticking very well. But I think I left it too long to like get it to like stick. So I'm trying to put a bit more on to like. I'm gonna go and do the other eye. I think what I'm gonna do is um, just draw a little line and not do a wing for now, and then. Um, see if that works quicker like if I just do it really so, quickly. So first time trying these I think um I wouldn't I wouldn't say there are like the like I don't think it's revolutionary 
um, will I try it again? I've got four more pairs, so I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna try it maybe a couple more times. See if I maybe there's a knack to it or something. Um, let me know if you've tried these in the comments down below. I'd be really interested to know if you've tried it and if you think it works. Um, obviously, it's a bit more risky going for a cheaper product. It may not work as well as like the thirty-five pound one may have, may have worked better. I don't know. Like. But was it, I'm still not willing to spend £35 on it. Let me know if you have tried one that's a bit more expensive. Um, what is I didn't really look at the instructions to sure pass the allergy, allergy test before using the product on your eyelids. Okay. I probably should have read the instructions. It actually says, Performance will be better if you put on eyelashes after the eyeliner dry out completely. Refine the eyeliner line also will... will refine the eyeliner line will also perfect the performance so maybe I need to try these like and actually let them dry before I put them on because I thought I thought like my like, my first thing my first thought was that I'd have to put um them on like wet I thought the wetness would stick to the magnet but I guess that makes sense now reading above notice before using this product okay so yeah um I'm going to keep these on I think because now they're on hopefully once the glue actually dries not the glue um the magnet eyeliner guys it will um work i'm gonna go and do another wing on this eye um and yeah i may come back later on in the weekly vlog and um try it again if i do makeup um I'm, i don't like i said i've not put makeup on every day so i don't know um but um i might try them again later on in the week um and actually follow the instructions properly this time <laughs> but yeah um catch up with you later hey guys it's tuesday evening um I haven't done an awful lot today. Well, I have actually. I kind of have. But I got up early at 8am and it kind of killed me a little bit. And I wasn't going to do it. I was, well, I wanted to do a Courtney Black workout on Instagram Live. Um, and you can only do them at 8 because otherwise you have to pay for them on on her app. So if you want to do it for free, you have to do it at 8 o'clock. So I thought I'm going to get up and do it. Set my alarm for like 7.30. And then didn't get up until like 10 to and it I, I was literally led there in bed like am I gonna get up am I not and then I thought no I like literally 10 to I thought getting up and oh my god like it was good but at the same time my body was not ready to do a hit workout and upper body workout at 8am 8, 8 like I feel like when I do workouts I need time to like kind of get myself ready, like have my cup of tea, and like I don't even have breakfast before workouts normally, but I like to have that time before to kind of wake up. Um, so yeah, um, I enjoyed it, but I had to stop it halfway through, because basically I'm not going to go into the story of it, but um, I had a massive like trouble with, like I had to ring the bank because someone like took some, tried to take some money from me. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to talk about that, but um, yeah, that was pretty stressful this morning. Um, but then had a shower, washed my hair, and I basically just spent the day um, chilling and watching YouTube videos. But I think because I got up so early and kind of threw myself straight into the day, I was just knackered and I had a nap, but like, I haven't been, I actually, this is the first day in like lockdown that I actually had a nap and I had like a good hour nap. Um, I feel a bit, bit better now. But yeah, I haven't come on to speak to you since like yesterday, yesterday morning. Um, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm about to do a yoga. I'm about to do a yoga class. Well, I say about to do today. It's it's quarter past five. Um, my class is in in like an hour. Um, so I'm going to do that and kind of can't be bothered, but also feel like I feel good afterwards. It is like an hour and a half, an hour and fifteen minutes class. So um, I think I'll feel good about it afterwards. Um. But yeah, um, we just had a clear day really, just, I, I've basically just had a Netflix day, um, had a day where I've basically near enough switched off from YouTube for the day, no, I haven't switched off from YouTube because I edited a video, but, um, but yeah, I've just had a Netflix day, I've finished watching Emily in Paris, I literally finished that in like two days, and now I'm onto the fifth series of You, Me, Her, which if you, ha if you haven't watched that, again, I would recommend it, um, and I am now watching Gemma Louise Miles' um, gift guide for him, um, I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to film one of them myself or not, I don't know, I kind of want to, but at the same time I don't really know anything about men or what they like. Um, so, but yeah, um, I may do a lot of time lapse of my yoga, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I, I will see you tomorrow. This could be good for me. Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose. But when 
25 um i'm coming at you from my bed because basically i've just had a bit of a, a meh day today also i haven't got the sheets on my duvet because i washed them um and i'm waiting for the tumble guys to be free so i can tumble them and then put my cozy sheets back on later on tonight um but yeah i'm just led in bed i've just been feeling a bit unmotivated today like i was gonna work out do a workout at 10 a.m the megan grub hit one and i just was like wasn't in the mood and I ache a bit from yesterday and I was like just not feeling a workout um and I was all right I thought oh I'm just gonna kill and then I just I just started to feel a bit meh like I'm just having a meh day you know where you just I just don't feel myself like I just feel a bit tired um a bit exhausted um and I just feel completely unmotivated. Like, I've got a few YouTube bits that I could be getting on with. Um, but I just feel unmotivated to do it. So I'm literally just led in bed, watching YouTube videos and just feeling sorry for myself. Um, but I thought I would come on and have a quick chat to you while I'm led here. Because I think it's important to talk about it and it's okay. Because we all feel a bit like this at the moment. Um, so if you are if you are having a day like that that is a bit like that or if you had one recently where you've just felt a bit like ew like um, then I'm sending sending you all of my love and we will get through this and it will be okay and there will be brighter days to come um, but I think it's hard as well that I'm isolating so I can't even get out and go for a walk like I think I will try and do the workout later on I'm not sure yet um, but my plan is to, in a bit, is to, I'm going to do some baking. I've got some pumpkin puree that I got out of the freezer because I said back in my, um, in my vlog, like in my, in my October vlog, um, I said about, um, that I wanted to make pumpkin loaf cake and I still haven't done it and I still want to make it because I've still got the puree that I froze. Um, so I'm going to do that in a bit. I'm just waiting for the puree to defrost a bit and then I'm going to, do some baking hopefully that will just lift my spirits a bit because I love to bake and I think it's just a happy thing to do isn't it um so I'm gonna make some loaf cake and I'll just do a little time lapse of that as I do it um and I'll also link the recipe down below in the description box if you um if you want to bake it um because even though Halloween is kind of gone it's kind of just like a spice loaf cake anyway so it doesn't matter that it's got pumpkin in it it just kind of adds to it and adds to the flavour um so yeah um i will catch up with you at some point soon bye hold me close till i get up time is barely on our side i don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left and Okay, so my loaf cake is ready to go in the oven This is what it looks like I've never actually made a cake with oil before Like this cake you use oil instead of butter, vegetable oil um, So I'm really excited to see how it turns out um, it looks really good though, and the mitzvah tastes really good because I mean, like, who are you if you do not eat your mitzvah? Like, this cake has to go in the, in the oven for an hour at 160 degrees. Um, like I said, I'll link it down below. But yeah, this is why I never did it before because I didn't realise how long it took to cook. Um, but yeah, I will show you when it once it's out the oven. So I can do a little 3 2 1 of the cake when it's cooked. And yeah, I'm going to do a 3 2 1 to a baked cake. Ready? 3 Two, one, ready for the reveal. Voila! There's my cake. I think it looks so good. Um, I'm so happy with it. It took it an hour and I think it looks absolutely 
Marvelous. Now I'm going to leave it to cool. Um, what I'm going to do while it cools is I'm going to make a like icing. Um, I think basically like a cream icing, kind of like a bit like you get on carrot cake. Um, what's it called? Like a frosting. A frosting, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make a frosting. Um, I think I'm going to give the cake like a good like hour to set before I actually put the frost, not set, um, give the cake a good hour to actually cool before I put the frosting on it because I don't want it to like not not like sit properly. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to do that and I'll chat to you later. Hey guys, so I thought I would come on and show you my cake. Well, I'm just going to show you a slice that I got um, here that I'm about to eat. Um, basically, I chopped the cake in half. One half um, I put icing on and the other half we froze just so that I didn't waste it. Because like, I was worried that like putting uh, the icing on it, also you have to eat it in like, a couple of days, otherwise it goes off. Um, so yeah put some in the freezer and then I'm gonna have it like in a few days time I can take it out and then put some more icing on it so yeah I've already tried a little bit um, and it's really yummy so um, I'm gonna go eat my cake and I'll catch up with you tomorrow hey guys um, it's now Friday evening um, I just haven't had anything to fit on the last couple of days and like I was at this point yesterday evening where I was gonna come on and be like so I've done nothing but then I was like well I feel like it's just boring to come on. I don't want to come on every day and be like, I've done nothing with my day. Um, that's completely okay to do nothing with my day. But um, yeah, so yesterday I just didn't, I thought I'm not going to film anything because I would just be rambling. But also I don't want to not say anything today, even though it wouldn't matter to you whether I didn't film it or not. But anyway, um, yesterday I was just chilling. Um, yeah, I did a few YouTube bits in the afternoon and yeah watching youtube videos today the same really just killing i did a little bit of editing but not a lot i've mainly just killed i had a lazy morning i didn't get out of my pjs until one o'clock and then yeah i've just had a killed day really um making the most of it while i'm still in isolation i have currently have like six more days of isolation today's friday saturday sunday monday tuesday five more days i've got five more days of isolation um so in next week's weekly vlog, I'll get actually get to go out and about somewhere, which will be exciting. Um, so I'm really excited. I think I'll, the first place I'll be going is somewhere like B&M or Home Bargains. So I want to like buy some Christmas presents and have a little wonder. Um, I might even film a like B&M Come Shop with Me video. Um, so yeah, um, I'm super excited to get out next week. Um, but yeah, I've not done a lot today. I think what I'm going to do this evening is just um, find a Christmas film to watch on Netflix because I've been watching YouTube all day, so I feel like I need like a change up. Um, and yeah, what am I doing tomorrow? Nothing. Tomorrow is Sunday, so yeah, not doing a lot tomorrow either. Oh, one thing I meant to say, um, what I was thinking of, was the Gymshark sale was tonight, um, and I was like, I want to get something, even though I was technically on a spending ban. Um, but I only bought one thing, so I don't know if I really count it because I didn't like go crazy. I wanted three things. I put in my basket a pair of black leggings, a pair of grey, and a grey like crop top long sleeve. Um, but when because they put you on like a hold thing, don't they? Until like on, they put you on like a waiting list, and then when I got through um, to check out, they only had um, the black leggings in stock. Um, but that was okay because I'd wanted a pair of like black good quality leggings for a while, and I hadn't found any that I liked enough um so um i was really happy that i managed to get the black ones so i um, hope they should fit because they're media and i i know that normally a lot of medium things fit me so hopefully they'll fit so they should come next week um but yeah i bought a few did a little bit of christmas shopping online this afternoon as well i've been having a little look at some things and i've tried to do like I, I was looking on etsy and i've never really bought anything on etsy before but i found a few things for some christmas presents i'm not going to say what because i don't want to give it away to any of my friends if they watch if they i don't know if they would watch but um yeah so i bought a few things off etsy and i think it's just quite nice to actually buy a few presents that were like shop small um like to help out the small businesses that might might be struggling at the moment um because of covid but yeah um I will catch up with you at some point over then. Oh, wow, actually, I keep thinking, I'm I'm literally a day behind. I keep thinking tomorrow's Sunday, it's not. Tomorrow is Saturday. Today's Friday. I don't know why, for some reason I'm like a day ahead of myself thinking it's Saturday when it's not. It is Friday today. Um, so yeah, tomorrow's Saturday and then we've got one more day of the weekly vlog before um, before the end of the vlog. Um, but yeah, um, I will catch up with you soon. Hey guys, it's Saturday afternoon. Um, 
not a lot gone on today again. I've been really unmotivated this week. I feel like really sorry for you because this vlog is basically me just moaning about how unmotivated I am and how I've been feeling a bit rubbish. Um, but I'm okay today. I've just, I just, my stomach was playing up, which is completely my own fault because I ate ice cream and then my mum bought me a coffee back and she forgot to ask for soy milk. Um, so it had no milk in it. So I think the two, um, the two things just didn't really work very well. Um, I've had a bit of a headache as well, so I feel like I need to take some more paracetamol because I think it's been a few hours now, so I think um, I can take some more paracetamol. Um, but yeah, I've not done a lot. I've not done a lot of YouTube stuff either. Um, but my first Christmas video did go up um, today, which I, I'm excited about. So I'll leave the picture here and I'll link it up. Um, if you haven't seen it, it is my wishlist video um, and I'm super excited about that. Um, and yeah, um, not a lot going on really. It's very a very wet, rainy day today. I've got all my candles on, which makes me a bit happier. Watching my YouTube videos, and um, I've broke my shopping ban. So I was supposed to be on a no shop ban, um, but last night, late at night, about twelve o'clock, half twelve, I ordered from Shein, and then just a minute ago, I also ordered a few bits from Boohoo. Um, so that's good um but to be fair I'm not that bothered because I'm just like I probably would have been might have been okay if I wasn't actually if I was just working but the fact that I'm just in like in lockdown not doing anything I, f I know people, some people have it worse like I'm not moaning it by any means because some people do have it a lot worse than me but I just feel like buying myself things like clothes spending a little bit here and there it clears me up and if buying myself some clothes is going to clear me up then I'm gonna do it. I literally just ordered some loungewear bits from Boohoo. Um, I bought something fluffy, which I cannot wait to show you. Which I will show you the stuff from Boohoo in um the next oh, in the next weekly vlog because I only bought like four things from Boohoo, so I'm obviously not gonna make a video out of it. Um, so I will show you in the weekly vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna. I think we're having pizza for tea tonight, which is exciting. Except from the fact that the dairy isn't really good for me right now. But am I gonna eat pizza tonight? Yeah. Um, but yeah, not a lot going on. I'm probably gonna speak to you tomorrow when I end the vlog. Um, and yeah, I hope everyone is okay and I'm sending you all of my Hey guys, love. it's still Saturday evening. I thought I'd just quickly come on and show you the tidying that I just did. So I had this, um, this little thing in my leg, let me show you. Um, on top of my cluster drawers with lots of bits and bobs in it. Um, but I got my mum to buy me, um, three of these little basket things and I just thought it looked a lot better and tidier and less cluttered like that so I've put them all in little baskets all my bits and bobs in um all my brushes lots of little things like paracetamol um scissors and then all my like perfumes and then I've got like hand creams and hair bands and cotton wool cotton wool pad things um and yeah I just think in, in general it just looks a lot more tidier um and for these little perfume bottles, the ones that I showed in my wish list, no not my wish list, I think I actually showed this in my um, gift guide but that's not up yet. Um, I've realised I still have a little bit left in them but they just look cute like that. Uh, but no, I'm really happy with that, it, took me, it probably took me about half an hour or an hour but I've just been pretty clear I've been watching um, on Netflix, I've been watching Operation Christmas Drop and I've got about 40 minutes left of that. Um, yeah, 40 minutes exactly and 11 seconds. I've really been enjoying chilling and doing a little bit of tidying while I watch the film. And now I'm gonna go and make myself a cup of tea. Um, because about nine o'clock, make a cup of tea. I've got to have a cookie or something with it, and then I'm gonna watch the rest of the film before I get ready for bed. So, yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Sunday or whatever day it is for you. Well, Monday probably. Um, I thought I'd just quickly come on this morning and chat to you because we've got an exciting delivery in our garden. Um, I will say in a minute why we've got it. Let me just show you. So we have a hot tub. Ah, so exciting. So basically, we've just got it for, um, I think for the week. Um, tomorrow is my, not tomorrow, Tuesday is my sister's Kate's 21st birthday and obviously we can't go out and do anything like we normally would to celebrate a 21st or have any big parties or see family or anything like that so my mum we used to actually have a hot tub um for, for a few years but we got rid of it and gave it to my friends recently well recently like a few a few months ago in the summer because we just weren't using it um so 
we've always loved the hot tub, but we just never used it enough. But my mum thought it'd be a nice treat as her birthday to get a hot tub for the week. So that's I'm so really cool. excited to go in it. Maybe tonight, or I don't know if we can go in tonight. I'm not sure whether we have to wait a day for it to like heat up. I'm not sure. So either tonight or tomorrow, we'll probably go in the hot tub. Um, but my plan for the, the day is I've just got up, well, I say that, I've got up like an hour ago. Um, yeah, I've been up for an hour, had a cup of tea. And I'm just chilling in my dressing gown, watching some YouTube videos. I'm going to make a cup of coffee. I'm going to make go make a gingerbread latte. And then I think what I'm going to do is I am going to try and do a workout today. I didn't do anything yesterday. My stomach was playing up all day yesterday. I can't remember if I said anything. I don't know. But my stomach was playing up all day yesterday. And it just wasn't great. And it's better, better today. It's not 100%. But... Is better so I think if I go and do some exercise I think it will help me feel better um so yeah that is my plan and then I will have a shower sort myself out I don't know if I'm gonna do makeup today or not I really badly have to do my eyebrows like they've got really bad but you know when you're just inside and you're like well no one is seeing me except for my family so what is the point <laughs> except for the fact that I'm vlogging but yeah, hopefully next week's vlog will be a bit more interesting because we'll have the hot tub and we'll have, well, I say I'm doing things with my family, but I'm not going to vlog that a lot, to be fair, because, um, because, like, my sister doesn't really like being in my videos, so she won't want me vlogging when, when we're all together. Um, but I may show you a few bits here and there. Um, and then as of next week, on Thursday, I get to go out. So I get to actually take you somewhere with me and not just be in my house. Um technically could go out from Tuesday I think 14 okay. days from when you're in contact with someone and I was in contact with someone late on Monday evening so that means it'll be two weeks as of tomorrow evening but I saw them at like 10 o'clock at, at night so I would just count it as Tuesday um but we've got plans for, for Kate's birthday on Tuesday and on Wednesday so I'm just gonna do the full 14 day in quarantine because I didn't go into quarantine until Wednesday. It's so confusing, the guidelines. Um, but anyway, um, on my throat. <clears throat> I'm going to go make a coffee, and then I'll catch up with you hey later. Hey, guys, it's about four o'clock, nearly half four, and I just thought I'd come on and end the vlog because I've just been... I did a workout earlier. Um, I really enjoyed it, actually. Well, I say enjoyed. Um, kind of enjoyed it. Like I did um, on the Chrissy Seller, Chrissy Seller community... Facebook page, um, I did this ab workout thing, it was like an ab workout challenge, 15 minute one, and it was really hard, and then after that I felt like I needed to do a bit of like cardio, um, so I did a mad fit workout, and it was like a 20 minute full body workout, and I really enjoyed it, like, like the first, it wasn't like too sweaty, but like, the first round I was thinking, yeah, this is good, and then the second round, like, it definitely like really pushed me, and like, definitely made me break a sweat in the second round, but anyway, um, I did that, had a shower, and yeah, I just got got my pumpkin jumper on, even though Halloween's not gone, but um, obviously I didn't just buy it to wear it like one time a year, um, so I'm still going to wear it around the house. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd come and end the vlog. I've been watching, has anyone watched, the, um, there's a series on Netflix called Dash and Lily, it's like a Christmas series, um, and I'm watching it, and I, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I've watched a few episodes, um... And yeah, it's really good. Yeah, so if you've watched it, let me know. Um, and I would recommend that you should give it, give it a watch. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to finish editing, editing, editing up the vlog for tomorrow. And I can get it up, exported, uploaded and all of that. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. I'm sorry that it's been a bit like, you know, meh. It's been a bit like just me kind of moaning about my how I'm feeling and talking about stuff like that. But... Oh well, um, hopefully next week's vlog will be a little bit um, more exciting because I'll have a couple of parcels arriving and I will be able to go out from Thursday. So that's exciting. Hopefully I can go to somewhere like B&M and bring you with me. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the vlog. I hope yes. you subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a massive thumbs up. Turn on the notification bells if you haven't already. And I will see you next week for a new weekly vlog. And I will see you on Thursday for a new video. And it's going to be a lockdown morning routine. So that's a little sneak peek into, ne into the next video. So bye guys. Thank you.